The monk entered the casino for the first time in his life, put his hands together and started praying to the slot machine. This behavior stunned the waiter on the spot. She said that praying like this was useless, but didn't expect the monk ignored her at all. When praying was over, the monk started the slot machine slowly. Next second, the monk's principle was doubled by dozens of times in an instant. He gave one of the chips to Kate and told her that he was here to beg alms only. Then he went to the roulette table. He calmly put the chips to the 22nd. Unexpectedly, the ball stopped at number 22 in the end. This astonishing scene stunned the lobby manager on the spot. Kate hurriedly stepped forward to talk again, asked the monk why he didn't cultivate himself in the temple. The master said that he could feel a short period of tranquility here. The manager didn't believe him at all. He concluded that the monk was cheating, so he went back to the surveillance room to check carefully, but did not find any abnormality. As a result, the monk's information was found in the system. It turned out that this monk has already been blacklisted by other casinos. At this time, the manager saw that the master was still betting in front of the slot machine, so he immediately invited the monk to the office room to talk. The manager said to the monk that his chief